Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. This is a sus2 chord. And while I think this is a chord that everyone should know, um, I can't really find many other examples of it being used in, you know, math rock, hence the title of this video. In fact, I could only really find one clear example of it, and it's in this song. <laughs> So that was the clear example I could think of. Maybe you are aware of some songs that use this chord. Of course, I don't know every single math rock song ever. Uh, so there might be examples of it being used somewhere else. But however, from now on, I'm gonna show you two useful applications of this chord for songwriting. But, but before we get there, I do want to just give you some background information on this chord. What is this chord type and where it comes from? And don't worry, I'm gonna make this super easy for you to understand. A suspended second chord or a suspended fourth chord, uh, it's easy just to say sus2 and sus4, uh, <laughs> but cue the jokes there. Um, I was going to say again, uh, so they replace the major or minor third within a major or minor chord. Um, so if that sounds confusing, let me show you what that sounds like. So in E major triad, we have the root, the third, major third, and a perfect fifth. And we're going to replace this third degree with the second degree from the scale down here. To me, that just sounds Midwest Evo straight away. And we can go the other way. We can take this third and move it up, and then we get a sus4 sound. The same applies for a minor chord. So let's say this was an E minor chord. We have the root minor third this time, and a fifth. And again, we can replace that with the sus2 sound, sus4 sound. However, the focus of this video is around that sus2 shape that I've shown you. So how we get this is we start with a power chord. In a power chord, we've got our roots, the E, and we've got our fifth from up here, but we're going to play it there. And instead of playing this arc two, we're going to shift it up to the s -s 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 to the second degree, but it's an octave up. So if we were to play through the E major scale, this is our second degree, but we're playing the octave of that. So we could say it's the ninth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octave, and then. Now it's the ninth. So moving on to the first application of this chord, we're going to be creating movement within a chord. So we have this kind of melody movement based around this sus2 shape. So to stick with our E major sound for now, I have a song called Iridium, and I get this kind of descending melody from the, the ninth by moving the chord, but we're gonna stick on that E sound. Another example of this is uh, in another song of mine called Time, and for this one I'm um, on a C instead, a C sus2. So moving on to method two, I believe that it's very useful for replacing power chord sound. So let's say you got a song, you just want to change it up, give it a little different feel. Just try one of these sus chords in place of a power chord. So I'll show you a few examples of, how, again, how I've applied it in some of my songs. So in the intro that I played a song called Nothing New, so that was on a B sus2 sound. Um, it, so for example, if I play that as a power chord, it doesn't really have the same feeling. It complements that 
you know, that riff I play after it better. Um, if we want to go to more of an extreme version of this, there's a song called Waves of Mine that I've replaced four power chords, all with this sus2 shape. So we have this G sus2, D sus2, uh, B sus2, and A sus2. Lastly, is another example where it's used a bit more tastefully. It's just used as like a passing chord to replace a power chord. And this is in a song called Persimmon, um, again of mine. Um, in the chorusy kind of section, we have this um, a, a major seven chord, and then we go to the A sus two instead. So there we have it, two wonderful applications, well, what I believe to be wonderful applications of this sus2 shape. So hopefully I've inspired you to go and try out some of these shapes, try and get it in your songwriting, try and do it tastefully, uh, but sometimes, you know, there is that room for just replacing all of your power chords with sus2 chords. If you would like to learn more about chords and such uh, in math rock, Midwest emo, all of the genres that, you know, um, gravitate are in the hem, in the, um, the orbit of math rock, I should say then um, you can learn about that in my Math Rock ebook, shameless plug. There's a link for that down below in the description. I want to say thank you very much to the patrons that are supporting this channel. You are making this kind of content possible, so thank you very much. Until next time, stay safe and see you soon. Goodbye.